back to medieval times or earlier, they mean a generation and a half ago. Mm, let's try Discord again. St. Roka easily resists, but the wizard flails and somewhat. So he's only somewhat resistant to hostile enchantments, but he's still. Okay, well, he will certainly finish off that wizard quite rapidly. Uh, our stairs are back here somewhere, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, you need to not be standing there anymore. Or anywhere else ever again. All right. You just have to get a good angle on him. Or get a good angle on the saint. Which I think is doable. And Roka resists again. Yeah, with almost no effort. Well, that did make the orc standing right next to me all angry, but. Just not a lot going on here. We don't have any scrolls of vulnerability. It's wielding something real rough. Wielding a halberd. Eh, halberds aren't the craziest, but they're... I mean, reach is a thing. Um, the nice thing is... Because he's wearing wielding a pole arm, uh, we can just uh, find a friendly staircase and uh, deal with him that way. He won't he won't accompany us up the stairs, generally speaking, if we do it properly. Okay, now. The reason why I don't want to go straight back down the stairs is because he might have moved next to the staircase. And that would be not fun for us if he followed us back up the stairs. The whole point of this is so, it is to, um, is to make use of the fact that his pole arm is going to uh, keep him at range. Uh, so close, so close to killing him. Just really want to take him out. Does it give a gender? Yeah, he. Really want him to die. Uh. Quiver, steel bolts. There we go. Boom. Got him. 
raised him as a zombie. Let's go ahead and grab this gold and skedaddle. Cool. All right. I don't know how I feel about doing the rest of this. Let's uh, let's at least take out this particular elf, a deep elf high priest. One of draining is good here. It's both the bad guys without hitting our Saint Roca zombie. It's the, probably the most powerful zombie I've ever had. Pretty neat. I'm okay with it. Um, just chugging along. Ch -ch -ch chugging along. Yeah, there are going to be a bunch of monsters in there. Actually, what we can do is we can use our scrying ability from Ashenzari to give it a view. Yeah. Death Mage, Death Mage, Annihilator, Annihilator. Annihilators have really strong spells. The Hudib's Crystal Spear can do, like, even the monster version, which is half the strength of yours, can still do, like, 100 plus damage in a single hit. I'm pretty sure. I know its maximum is at least 90 damage. So yeah, very scary. Okay. Um, so we saw not much, really. We could go over here and do it again, but that's, that's fine. I mean, we have a reason. Blade Masters are real scary. They uh, they hit very fast and they hit very very hard. Quite rough. I think we can kill Roxanne though. She doesn't heal, so boom. Easy enough. Book of the Earth. I guess we already have Book of the Earth. So a boring. I, we can also remove this exclusion. Okay. It's it's definitely getting up there to my bedtime. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and... I'm going to end the stream here uh, after we kill this bardish of venom. Because I kind of want the wand of disintegration that he's carrying. Ooh, and a cool robe. Resist electric, intelligence plus two. That seems pretty mediocre. Pretty way worse than what we're wielding now. It's right, we blow up the deep elf demonologist. Okay, yeah, I don't think uh, I'm going to do the rest of Elf here. I'm starting to get tired. Uh, yes, sleep well. Sleep well, Stanley Dudrich. I, uh, I believe I am going to retire as well. Just leave it here, and we'll, we'll start off with some Elves next time. But um, thanks, everyone, for joining me. I hope you had a good time. And uh, hopefully, hopefully I'll figure out some more cool stuff to do with this stream sometime soon. Maybe I'll work on that tomorrow. Anyway, for now... Uh, I hope everyone has a fantastic rest of their day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.